Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to Archerfield in a series of videos which I'm doing with these two fine gentlemen, Mr. Carl Morris and Gary Nicholl. Gary, you're the head professional here? Uh, no, I'm not actually. Company T-Pegs, we are the official coaching and golf experience providers for Archerfield. I see. And yes. then Carl, you I'm just along for the ride. You swan around <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> don't you? Uh, we've spoken about, well, a multitude of things. I'll link the videos in this video as well, so you just click on the links here but now we're going to be talking about the difference between practice and training training and practice if you look at other other areas of life but you know you you you, you train to be a solicitor and then you practice law you know you train to be a surgeon and then you practice surgery and i think with golf we kind of get it a little bit the wrong way around in the sense that so much of our practice that we do for golf there's no resemblance to the to the real thing mm -hmm. you know we're very static we're in one place we repeat the same move over and over again which has its function on there's a part for that to play in terms of skill building but I think if you want to if, if lower scores are your interest if reducing your handicaps an interest I think you really look at the way that you train for golf and and surely if we train for golf we should be training for some of the things that are going to happen on the golf course. Now one of the things that I guarantee that's going to happen on the golf course is that you're going to miss a bunch of greens. Even How the best player, you? even the best <laughs> players in the world such as yourself. Um, they you know they'll 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 miss at least 6 7 greens around on average. Yeah. So one of the one of the games I've had some pretty good success with tour players over the last couple of years is a it sounds a contradiction in terms it's a game called deliberate miss where you get on the golf course and you actually deliberately miss every green you actually your approach shot you've got but you don't just carve it anywhere you've got to miss the green in the best possible place to get up and down so it's actually a very accurate game and the report i get back is i would if i can play nine holes and miss every single green and, still put a score and get together. it get it round in one or two over par something yeah. like that you're actually training for the inevitable that will happen during a round of golf and rather than standing there and hoping if i just keep making the same move and over and over again i'll have a perfect swing and that'll protect me on the golf course from yeah, good bad shots good luck with that one let's train for the reality of the game which is massive imperfection perfection massive variability but actually with these games getting out on the golf course can make such a big difference so we, we all want you to try and help make your your training much more game like so you know if you asked a footballer where he did his football training you'd say well on the football pitch rugby player rugby pitch tennis player tennis court golfer driving range hmm. doesn't quite add up really mm -hmm. does it go out with three clubs you know yeah. that's the thing that we, we, Absolutely. We, we used to do as kids that yeah. we're kind of lost from the game really just go out there with three that clubs was and necessity though, yeah Carl. yeah we didn't have a full set <laughs> no. in those days and you know and i think with that th three three clubs it gets you to think about what clubs are you going to take out there but you're then forced to create shots you're forced to put the ball forward in your stance back in your stance hit different shapes yeah. and you're kind of exploring the possibilities really with your game and i think the word gary mentioned transferability you know, does your does your practice transfer? Now, if you've been practicing for 10 years in a certain way and it's not transferred, I would guess the 11th year is not going to cut it. <laughs> no. So, Unlikely. you know, there's a definition, still the Einstein thing, definition of insanity, keep doing the same thing, expecting a different result. Yeah. You know, maybe this year, maybe in the next six months, you really challenge the way that you go about your training. And as I say, if, if lower scores is your interest, think about the golf course as being your training ground yeah. as well as the place that you play. It's actually a lot of fun creating different yeah. shots as well. So guys, thank you so, so much. And if you do want more information, first of all, on the Lost Art of Putting, but on the new book, which is coming out, make sure you hop down into the description and check these guys out on social media as well. Give them some love. Comment below and everything you've seen today, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And we'll see you soon. Anything to add, guys? Just thank you for watching. Keep subscribing, keep watching. You're going to learn something every time you tune in. And connect back to the art of playing golf. Uh, remember, remember why you started to play the game in the first place and just maybe gets back to some of those ideas. Oh, you guys. Couldn't agree more.